I welcome you to another interesting tutorial about WeChat. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the relevant ID type that you need to have before you can activate your WeChat Pay. Quite a lot of people want to use WeChat Pay, but unfortunately, not everyone can use not everyone can use WeChat Pay features because of some relevant documents. But if you are the type that find it difficult to activate your WeChat Pay, maybe as a result of the type of document you have or you don't know how to go about it, consider to watch this video from beginning to the end and see the relevant ID type you need to have before you can activate your WeChat Pay and how you can successfully activate your WeChat Pay feature, increase your WeChat Pay limit without any stress. Let me show you how. But before we dive into tutorial, if you find this tutorial useful and you are very new to this channel, remember to click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more useful tutorial like this. So with that being said, let's get started. Very first thing you need to do is to open up your WeChat. Next thing you need to do is to click on me. Next thing you need to do is to click on wallet. Next thing you need to do is to click on ID info. Then it's going to take you right here. Then when you verify your identity, these are things you're going to get. According to Chinese law and regulation, after verifying your identity information, you will be able to enjoy more wins and pay features such as balance, you can send direct packets, you can transfer, receiving money, access other wins and pay services, and higher pay limit right here. So what you need to do is to click on verify now. Then here, you will need to enter your payment password. Then it's going to take you to ID type right here. So click on ID type. So by default, you have mainland China ID. Now, here, there is about seven ID type you need to have before you can actually have a WeChat Pay successful, activated, and be access to the rest of the feature of WeChat payment. So the first one here is mainland Chinese ID, followed by passports, right here, followed by passports. Then, if you swipe down right here, you see more options. Mainland travel permit for Hong Kong. Mainland travel permit for Taiwan residents. PRC foreign payment resident ID, permanent resident ID. Mainland resident permit for Hong Kong and Makwa residents. Mainland resident permit for Taiwan. So you must have any of this ID right here before you can actually activate WeChat Pay and verify your general identity information of your WeChat account. So if you are choosing any of the options right here, select on the option and click on OK, and you'll be asked to submit relevant document that associates to the ID type you submit right here. So once you, what you need to do is to fill in your name, your ID number, your ID effective date, expire date of the ID, then address right here, the resident address, then scroll down right here and select the type of occupation and then select the type of occupation right here and hit on next. When you click on next, you'll be asked to upload the data page of the passport, submit the data page of the passport, and finally hit on submit. In less than 24 hours, which I will get back to you and your WeChat Pay will be activated and you can have access to the rest of WeChat Pay services such as transfer money, receiving funds for, on your WeChat account, and also increase your limit on your WeChat Pay. It's that simple. For more tutorial, tips and tricks about WeChat topic like this, consider to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.